if you have a function and it's even, that means it's symmetric with the y-axis. An odd function is going to be symmetric with the origin. So if it's even, f of negative x equals f of x. If it's odd, f of negative x equals the opposite of that function. So let's take a look at each one. I want to graph each function using a graphing calculator. Then I want to analyze the graph to determine whether it's even or it's odd or it's neither. I want to confirm algebraically if it's even or odd or neither and describe the symmetry. So first off, let's go ahead and let's graph x cubed minus 2x. So I'm going to use decimals. So I'm going to go into decimals. I want my graphing calculator here, so let me get that opened. You can use any graphing calculator, but I prefer decimals. Give it a second to open up here. Now, I'm going to graph my function. Now, I have short-term memory. I forgot it already. So my function is x cubed minus 2x. So let's plot that. I can go f of x or just x cubed minus 2x. I'm going to write the function notation here. So I'm going to say f of x equals x cubed. Get out of there. And then minus 2x. And that seems to be symmetric with the origin, doesn't it? Because I look at every point, I've got the point opposite. So since it's symmetric with the origin, we're going to say that's an odd function. And then let's check it algebraically. Let's find f of negative x. Well, that will be the opposite of x cubed minus 2 times the opposite of x. When I, cube a when I cube a negative, it's negative, isn't it? So I get negative x cubed. A negative times a negative is a positive 2x. Notice this is exactly the opposite of my function. And then we're going to say it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So it has point symmetry. Now let's take a look at example 9. I want to graph g of x equals x to the fourth plus 2. So I'll go g of x equals x to the fourth power plus 2. Well, that sure seems like it's symmetric with the y-axis, doesn't it? Since it's symmetric of the y-axis, I think that's going to be an even function. So I think this is even. Let's show it's even algebraically by finding g of negative x. Well, g of negative x is going to be negative x to the fourth power plus 2. Well, if I take a negative to the fourth power... That's x to the fourth plus 2. Notice these are the same. So that makes it even. And we said an even function is symmetric with the y-axis. Now let's take a look at our next function. I want to do h of x equals x cubed minus 0.5x squared minus 3x. Let's 
So let me start a new one here. So I'm going to go h of x. equals, what did we say? I think we said x cubed minus, we're going to say 0.5x squared and then minus 3x. Now, it seems like this one is, is symmetric with the origin again, isn't it? Because if I look at every point, I've got a corresponding point across from it. Now, let's find out. So, I'm thinking this is an odd function. So, I'm going to find h of negative x. Well, that means I'm going to do negative x cubed minus 0 0.5 times negative x squared minus 3 times negative x. Well, negative x cubed, that'll be negative x cubed, won't it? If I do negative x squared, that is going to be positive, but I multiply by negative, so I get negative 0.5x squared. And then a negative times a negative is plus 3x. Now, if I take a look here, it is negative x cubed is opposite, but negative 0.5x squared, that's not the opposite, is it? So this one is actually neither. I was wrong. It's not odd. It's not even. It's neither. So there's your answer. So I should have paid, I guess, a little bit more attention to the values on the graph because they they don't quite match up. Let me take a look at that graph again. Because I've got this point right here at negative 1.5 and 0. So do I have the opposite point, 0 and negative 1.5? Or 0 and 1.5. No, I don't, do I? So here's my relative mins and relative max. I don't have those corresponding points. So it is not symmetric with the origin. It's not symmetric with the x-axis. And it's not symmetric with the y-axis. So there is no symmetry. Well, I don't know what happened there. I just got kicked out. Okay. So we're going to say there's no symmetry for example 10.